Good evening, Mr. President. Good evening. Hard to kill time on this island. Nothing ever happens. Gets a bit boring, don't you think? Are you joking, my friend? I'm sure you're just being ironic. Yes and no. It's true that the manor is full of books and works of art. Unfortunately, the subjects are restricted to Lord Mortimer's specific tastes. The Crusades, religion... Yes, that's true. By the way, have you noticed the representations of the Holy Lance he's got all over the place? Uh, no. It was the last thing in my mind, to be honest. Oh, well that's a pity. I would have enjoyed chatting about it, as I would have done with my mother. See you later. Good evening, Mr. President. Good evening. I'm back on the trail of my mother again. I don't have time to explain, but would you know anything about the Holy Lance? I... Uh, that's good news. But be careful, Louis. You might end up getting noticed. Do you know anything or not? No, I regret I don't. But why not ask von Wallner? Theology is his field, after all. That's an idea. In that case, I'll try and find him. You are keeping up the good work, I see. But I'm telling you, keep your guard up. Everyone is rather on edge right now. You're right. Thanks for everything, Mr. President. See you later. Louis, busy as always, I see. How lucky you are. I must admit I'm trying to kill the boredom myself. I get the impression we're all in the same boat. And here I was thinking you might have some juicy gossip. Me? No, nothing at all. And you? I would like to be able to say yes, but it's been dead quiet. The only one with anything to say is Duke Manuel. But with that accent of his, I don't understand a word he says. It's exasperating. Right. I've wasted enough time. I'll keep our conversation to myself, Mr. President. Anyway, I must be going now. See you later, Louis. Here I was, thinking you might have some juicy gossip. Well, Mr. Godoy heard that we are expecting a last-minute guest. Pardon? Yes, a certain Alazif. Hmm. Strange. Doesn't ring a bell. Well, I might as well not hang out here any longer, if he has nothing to say. Me neither. He must have misunderstood. The conference has started. Godoy is a little too used to court intrigue, if you ask me. I agree with you. Well, nevertheless, I hope I have distracted you a little. Yes, thank you, Louis. I don't need much. And don't hesitate if you ever do have any news. I won't, Mr. President. I wish I could entertain you, but... Apart from recommending a few paintings, I don't know what to suggest. That's very kind of you, but I'm quite sick of gazing at all those modern paintings. Thank you, all the same. I'm sorry, Mr. President, but I don't have a minute to spare right now. Yes, I see, I see. No time for chit-chat with an elder, of course. Well, run along, my young friend. Please don't hold it against me, but... I would like to be alone for a while. Do you really think we have a chance of winning? A chance? <laughs> you don't know me very well, Louis. We are going to win. But it only takes one person to vote against us, and we'll have lost. That's true. That's why none of them will. Why? Because I have an asset that they do not. Which is? You! My friends, prepare yourselves. The conference is about to resume. The time has come to lay down all our cards.